like to welcome you this evening to this Heritage Singers concert here at Loma Linda University Church. Are you glad to be here this evening? It's wonderful to be back in person, and it's wonderful to have the Heritage Singers back with us. So this is my colleague, Doug. Um, what was your last name again? It's Mace. Mace. Mace, okay. Do you sing with Heritage? No. Um, hmm. th their standards were too high. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad you were hiring. <laughs> Well, we, yeah, we've been really happy to have you here. <laughs> For, you've been here, what, 40 years now? Thank you. No, that's very funny. Yeah, I, I'm, I didn't start when I was one year old, Randy. <laughs> well, how long has Heritage been coming this Sabbath after Thanksgiving? Friends, Heritage Singers has been coming to Loma Linda University Church, their friends, for 40 years. And that is really something. 40 years that right here. That is amazing. Yeah. That truly is amazing. That was the year before I was born. Yeah, so Randy. It's kind of my lifespan. Yeah, it's you, wonderful, Doug. You can't get by with that. <laughs> How many have been listening to Heritage Singers all your life? Your lifers. Oh man, See, wonderful. I, Lot of I hands. think that's why Heritage Singers packs the house out because everyone grew up with them. That's exactly right, Doug. In fact, I can tell you, I was listening to these songs as they were being played through the system. And it takes me back to different points in my spiritual journey yeah, yeah. that were deeply meaningful. And Heritage was very much a part of that. So we're wondering where you came from this evening to get here to this concert. So let's see. What should we ask first, Doug? Hey, did, did anybody come from Texas? Is there a soul out there? Is there one? Can you play while I ask if there's one more? Is there a hand out there? Can you see? I can't see because of the lights. Well, I can't Look see at anything. that. Yes, there, oh, there you go. Goodness, Have that's mercy. That's fantastic. That person needs to win something tonight. I though. wish. How many, <laughs> how many cross state lines to come to this uh, program tonight? Right down look here. At that. Look oh at all my wow. goodness. That's Excellent. awesome. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, which state? Hawaii. Have mercy. <laughs> yeah. Why would you there, come? There's well, nowhere to go from that answer. <laughs> That's amazing. That's wonderful. What a group. I'm curious how many of you are from Loma Linda. Let me see your hands. How many? Oh, look at that. We got a lot of hometown folks. Now, I right? have a question. How many have never heard the Heritage Singers live before, and this is your first concert? Look at oh, this. Oh, my wow. goodness. Praise wow. the Lord. You're in for a treat. You are in for a treat. And, Randy, before, wow. do you have another question? Because I have a question for you. If you were to pick out one of the Heritage Singer songs that brought comfort or brought uh, was with you as a friend, which one would it be? There are so many, but I Am Willing, Lord, was one of those. That's, I love that. That's exactly the one I was going <laughs> to say. Is that so? It really was. Well, after I heard a sermon this morning that had to do with willingness, and so I was kind of <laughs> tracking with that. And uh, so that was really good. But honestly, The Lighthouse. I can, I've told How many? The Lighthouse. How uh, many? That touched you? Yeah. I've told this before, forgive me, but I'll just mention I can still remember sitting this close to my dad at a Heritage Singers concert in the Canal Zone in Panama, and they were playing that song, and I looked up at dad, and there were tears in his eyes, on his cheeks, because that was his life story. So that's also very meaningful. I don't know if I've told this story, but I used to uh, travel with the Heritage Singers. They wouldn't let me sing, but I was a 17-year-old. <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's not funny. <laughs> I was a 17-year-old boy, and Max showed me how to run the sound system. Actually, it was Greg, but Greg and Max uh, showed me how to run this little sound system. And I sat there, and the first couple months were awesome, but then it got to be routine. And so I started watching people's faces in the same experience. I watched wow. these, these big, burly men who didn't want to be there, but their wives or some cousin uh, <laughs> took them to the concert. And I watched them as I ran sound. And I saw the same thing, Randy. That's beautiful. That, that the spirit of these songs touched their hearts, and they became emotional. And they would never go to a sermon, mm -hmm. but they did respond to a song. And the Lord works through music. Amen? Amen. Amen. It, it has happened in our lives. I know it's happened in many of your lives, and it will happen again here this evening. 
One final story. It was in that same time period, at the same canal zone, Panama, that I had the privilege of chauffeuring around in the Panama Canal Zone area somebody by the name of Doug Mace. No, no. And if you ask Doug Mace to this day, he can't remember it. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we were visiting Panama, I had a lot on my mind, and there was a nice fellow that picked me up, but I don't remember his name, but I, if that was you. In fact, at the concert, people came up and asked me for an autograph, and I had no more to do with heritage singers than you do, <laughs> but I think they must have confused us. So many stories, many experiences over the years, and many rich and wonderful blessings. Here in this church, over 40 years, Doug. So we need to pray. To, to welcome not only you to this concert, but to welcome the presence of the Spirit yes. and to ask God's blessing in a special way on Heritage Singer. So would you pray with me? Gracious God, it is with tremendous gratitude in our hearts that we come. Lord, we come grateful because it's been too long since we've been able to be together in meaningful and deep ways. It's been too long since we've heard Heritage sing here as as part of our family. It's been too long since many of these realities have been a part of our lives. We ask your blessings, Lord. We ask your blessings on Heritage, on their music this evening, and through them on every single person that is here tonight. We thank you for your goodness and your love, and we thank you for your presence. In Jesus' name, and all God's people said, Amen. Amen. And now, friends, won't you put your hands together for 50 years of gospel music with the Heritage Singers. Let's welcome them out now. Set my soul on fire when my passion's been consumed. Praise can give my spirit soul a voice. Praise can fill my mind with peace when my doubts is overcome. Praise can fill my longing to rejoice. Praise can turn my sorrow into a holy celebration. And praise can turn my Just as I got, hallelujah. The 
working on a little It's the true foundation I'm holding up the blood and the blood stain for my love Oh, I never get tired Never get tired I'm working on a little bit And I work on a Gonna get my reward. Get my reward. I'm working on a building. And it's the true foundation. I'm holding up the band. The blood sang banner for my love. Oh, I never get tired. Tired of working on a building. I'm working on a building and I'm running, running to get my reward. Lord, I'm working on a building. It's the true foundation. I'm holding up the blood of the day. Better for my Lord. Oh, I never get tired. I never get tired. I'm working on the building. I'm running on the heaven and gonna get my reward.
Are you grateful tonight that you know the one who speaks peace to the storms? The one who simply says, hey, don't be afraid. Be still and know that I am God. And he says that to the storm. Just be still. And he's the one that holds our destiny in his hands. He's the one that is here in this room uh, tonight. He's the one that we worship. And I want you to know uh, that this our 50th year of, of ministry uh, we're, we're here for two things, okay? The first thing in particular, the most important thing, is that we serve a God that around this time, the beautiful decorations in this, bu this building, this time of year we sing uh, songs about Emmanuel, God with us. See, God the Father did not just trumpet the good news of salvation uh, from on high. He sent good news to be with us. He is here in this moment. And we as his worshipers, his sons and his daughters, the main reason we are here tonight is to lift up praise that only he is worthy of. From voices that can only sing this kind of a song, the song of the redeemed, that's us tonight. Angels can't sing the song of the redeemed. It's you and me in this room who've walked through it. And my prayer tonight is that you would respond to that Emmanuel who is with us right now in this place. So we come to worship him. And the second thing we come to do tonight, I hope it's okay with you, but we come to heap a whole lot of honor and blessing uh, and gratitude on a man who gave uh, the majority of his entire life to bring hope to the world through worship, through praise, uh, through songs of goodness and blessing and honor to our God. How many of you in this room have been 
hugely impacted by Max Mace and his legacy and his ministry. Yeah. I'm certain that we would have story after story. If we did an open mic, we'd be here for 17 hours, I think, uh, of, of the way that God has moved in your life, spoken to you, blessed you through the ministry of Max Mace and the Heritage Singers. So those two things, we want to honor God, we want to bless his name. Like David said, I will bless the Lord, oh my soul. We want to do that. Second thing we want to do is really honor Max because he loved this church. He loved doing what we're doing up here right now. And, and right now I want to invite uh, my beautiful wife up onto the platform of 22 years. Holly's going to be coming now. Yeah. <laughs> and the one thing that, um, that I always knew about Max and I always loved about Max is that he loved to sing songs about heaven, right? He, I think it was because he knew that he needed the hope of heaven in his own heart and his own life. And he also knew that we, the hearer, needed to hear the hope of Jesus, the hope of the kingdom of heaven. But here's something else Max knew. He knew God's word. He knew that Jesus had taught him to pray just like he taught you and me to pray. My kingdom come, your kingdom come, Lord. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, right? Just before we came out here, Melody was praying. Uh, that, that's basically Jesus teaching us to say, Lord, let heaven come on earth. The things of heaven, let them be here on earth. And that's our posture tonight. And I want to sing a song uh, with, with my wife. Was she, are you going to sing too tonight? No, not to talk to <laughs> Sometimes she sings. Yeah. Uh, I want to sing a song about heaven, but I want you to think about it a little differently. You've maybe heard this song a bunch. But would you tonight allow yourselves to think about how am I responding to God in worship right now? Where this is not about the future. This is not about, boy, once we get to heaven, won't it be great? Won't we worship God with such passion and joy, right? No, no. Your kingdom come, heaven. Your will be done on this earth. On this earth. How are you responding tonight? How are you responding in your daily lives of worship? That's your call. That's your destiny. That's what he's given, uh, 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 put on your life to do is to honor and worship him because he's worthy of it. How are you responding? Can we think about heaven right here, right now in this moment? Not just longing for that day, but right here and now with our bodies as living sacrifices. Worship our God as it is in heaven on this earth. Can we do that tonight? Amen. Listen to this. I can only imagine what it will be like when I walk by your side. I can only imagine when my eyes will see when your face is before me. I can only imagine. I can only imagine Surrounded by your glory What will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all of you be still? Will I stand in your presence? Or to my knees will I fall? Will I see? Hallelujah Will I be able to speak at all I can only imagine? Yes, I can only imagine. I can only imagine when that day comes and I find myself standing in the sun. I can only imagine. When all I will do is forever and ever, forever worship you, yeah. I can only imagine, yeah. I can only imagine, yeah. when I'm 
surrounded by your glory. What will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Or in all of you be still? Will I stand in your presence? Or to my knees will I fall? Will I sing? Hallelujah. Will I be able to speak at all? I can only imagine. Yeah. I can only imagine. Yeah. 
You know, Val, I have a feeling, I just have a feeling real quick, that, that in this room, we've got a kind of a mighty choir, and, and some of you are, are hidden, and, and I, I, wanna, I want you to come out, and, and I want to hear you right now. I think Max would have loved to hear this group of people in this beautiful building sing together. I, I don't know why I think you've been in choirs, maybe some of you look like you've been in choirs, but, but I'm ready to give this a shot. Uh, can I just hear a little of... Because he lives, I can face I knew it. I knew it. Because Oh, that's beautiful. All fear is gone. All fear is gone. Because... Yes, and life is worth, and life is worth the living just because he lives. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Let's give praise to our God tonight. Come on. Well, this evening we have a quartet plus one. And we're going to sing one of our favorites and one of Max's favorite quartet songs, My Lord and I. So it's okay to put your hands together and have a good time with this song. Is that all right? Oh, yeah. We're going to walk this road to glory, children, my Lord and I. Yeah, we're going to walk and tell the story, children, my Lord and I. When I come to the river wide, blessed Lord is going to calm the tide. We're going to walk this road to glory, children, my Lord and I. Well, we're going to walk this road to glory, children, my Lord and I. Yeah, we're going to walk and tell the story, children, my Lord and I. When I come to the river wide, blessed Lord is going to come the tide. We're going to walk this road to glory, children. My Lord and I, well, we're gonna walk this road to glory, children. My Lord and I, yeah, we're gonna walk and tell the story, children. My Lord and I, rain or 
shine, snow or sleet, blessed Lord, guide my feet. We're going to walk this road to glory, children, my Lord and I. Well, such is my consolation, my burdens out of my way. The Holy Spirit guides me as I travel day by day. When I pull to the station, I get my full supply. Yeah, we're gonna walk this road to glory, children, my Lord and I. We're gonna walk and talk all the way to glory. Gonna walk and tell the blessed old story. Walk and talk all the way to glory, my Lord and I. When I come to the river wide, blessed Lord is gonna calm the tide. When Jesus was preparing his disciples for the time that he would no longer physically be present with them on earth, he promised that the Father would send the Holy Spirit to them as a helper, a comforter, a friend. And that promise wasn't just for the disciples, it was also for every believer and follower of Jesus to come. In John 14, 17, Jesus refers to the Holy Spirit as the spirit of truth. The spirit of truth that would teach them and remind them of all the things that they had come to know. And that same spirit of truth is what is in us. To give us life and joy and peace in a world that is filled with the exact opposite. You see, the world's definition of peace is the absence of something, the absence of strife, the absence of war, the absence of chaos. But in the kingdom of God, peace is a person. Peace is not something, is not the absence of something. It's the presence of someone. And that's a gift. That's our gift. And then that becomes our source of hope and our source of the abundant life that Jesus came to give us. Regardless of the circumstances, regardless of what we may see or feel or perceive in this dark world, we have the Holy Spirit of God. And Jesus said that greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. I want you to feel and be encouraged tonight by the words that Jesus spoke over 2,000 years ago that are still as relevant today as they were then when he said to his disciples, my peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, and I do not give as the world gives, so let not your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Would you pray with me? Lord Jesus, we thank you for your power and your presence. And Holy Spirit, we invite you to fill this sanctuary and fill our hearts. And we invite you to anoint every word we say and every note we sing so that you would be honored and glorified because you are worthy. In Jesus' name, amen. Holy 
weary when I'm on my journey home and when the road is rough and long and I feel so all alone when my joy turns to sorrow and there's no hope for tomorrow that's when my Jesus is all that I Satan's manifested schemes and you feel the urge within you to submit to earthly things don't let the praise they're standing in seem to disappear praise the Lord he can work through those who praise him praise the Lord for a God inhabits praise Praise the Lord 
Where the chains that seem to blind you serve only to remind you that they drop powerless behind you when you pray. sing to me is alive and he wants to make us think that we are paupers when he knows himself we're children of the king so lift up the mighty shield of faith for the battle must be won well jesus christ has risen so the work's already done praise the lord For the chains that seem to bind you serve only to remind you that they drop powerless behind you when you pray. Praise, Praise the Lord. For the chains that seem to bind you serve only to remind you that they drop powerless behind you when you praise Him. When you praise Him. When you praise Him. When
Oh, God, he is so good. Like it said at the beginning of that song, Son of God, everlasting one, you have poured your grace on me. There's nothing better than that. That's what I want from God. I want his grace. Because when I have that, I have everything. Everything else that I need is covered under that grace. Choir, will you sing with me again? God is so good. Let me hear you. I know there are so many of you around the world that need to hear that tonight and you need to know that tonight in your life. Maybe you don't feel like he's been very good to you recently. Maybe you are in extreme financial disarray. Maybe you are sick. Maybe you've got a broken relationship that you just feel like it'll never be fixed. But I want to encourage you tonight that there is power in the name of Jesus because everything in heaven and on earth will bow to the name of Jesus because there's power in that name. And when we speak it with our mouth, I mean, yeah, we can, we can say it in our prayers inside our head, but when we speak the name of Jesus audibly, there's so much power in that. And I want to read to you, I love this translation that Paul says in Romans 10.10. 10. And this is, this is my favorite uh, version, actually, in the NIV. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. So this is twofold here, right? This two things. In our hearts, we believe it. With our mouths, we speak it. And we can't be ashamed or embarrassed of what other people in the world think we are as Christians, right? We have to be bold. We have to do like the so many disciples and and people that came after the disciples that were called to speak boldly about Jesus, even in those times of persecution and unrest, and there's so much of that right now. We're labeled crazy, insane. How can you believe in a God that would let this world be so bad? But we as Christians know that even in this world that seems so bad, that he's with us. Jesus is with us. God cannot go against himself because he's God. So whatever promises he's given us, he will not go against them because he's God and he cannot go against himself. So I want to encourage you to hold on to those promises. If you've forgotten them, open up your Bible, read them again. You got a cell phone, you got a smartphone, open up your Bible app, search it on the internet. There's so many promises in the Bible that we can cling to 
And when we profess our dedication and our faith and our trust in Jesus, we're saved. We accept him as our savior and we're saved. And there is power in the name of Jesus tonight and I pray that each one of us will boldly speak up for Jesus. Amen. Speak up for the Lord and not be ashamed. We're an anchor for those who are hurting. We're a harbor for those who are lost. Sometimes it's not always easy bearing Calvary's cross. We've been ridiculed by those who don't know him and mocked by those who don't believe. Still, I love standing up for my Jesus cause of all that he's done for me. And that's why of the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ. No, I am not afraid to be counted, and I'm willing to give my life. See, Every moment his hand has held mercy and for all the love that he shown on my life a simple thanks doesn't say how I'm feeling I get tears in my So as for me, I'm going to keep on believing in the one who's been so faithful to me. I'm not out to please this whole world around me. I've got The gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ. No, I am not afraid to be counted, and I'm willing to give. Yeah. 
faced a mountain that I've never faced before, and that's why I'm calling on you, Lord. And I know that it's been a while, and Lord, please hear my prayer, because I need you like I never have. Sometimes it takes a mountain Sometimes a troubled sea Sometimes it takes a desert To get a hold
What kind of mountain are you facing today? If you would have told me um, a year and a half ago that my dad wouldn't be up here with me tonight, I just couldn't imagine it. It's not possible. During this short time that my dad was sick, um, he just kept telling me over and over again, Val, I'm good. I'm happy. I know where I'm going. Move forward. Move forward. And my dad was such a beautiful example to me. Not just when he's on stage, but all the time. The way he lived his life. The way that he served others. The janitor was just as important as the pastor. And he let him know it. Uh, to lose my best friend has been hard, okay? But I am so excited that we continue this ministry that he loves so much, the ministry that God placed on his heart as a little boy, and that we continue that ministry and give people hope. This world is filled with fear. But we need to be filled with Jesus. We need to replace all the anxiety and the fear with Jesus. There's really no way to get through what we're all dealing with right now in this world without Jesus. As a believer, you know we can always turn to him. But imagine not being a believer and going through all this. It's been hard. It's been scary. I want to encourage you tonight, no matter what you're going through, maybe it's something nobody even knows about. It's just you. I would encourage you tonight to turn to the Lord. Let him give you that peace that passes all understanding. Let him give you that hope the world doesn't offer. Um, I'm just counting the, the days till I can be with my dad again. And we can all be together again and sing forever. Hang on, people. Jesus is coming. Live your life ready. Don't get ready. Live your life ready. This song talks about what a day that will be when Jesus will take us away from all of this. We have that to hold on to. Don't be discouraged. We have so much to look forward to.
What a day that will be where my Jesus When I look, when I look upon his face, the one who saved me by his grace, when he takes me by the hand, he leads me to Let's thank our Lord one more time. Thank you for that day, Lord. How many of you have been having a special moment with the Holy Spirit? Sometimes it takes a mountain. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm looking forward to that day. There's so much going on in this music. Friends, I believe in this music, and, and I have to share with you, even though I share the name of the founder, of my cousin Val, I believe in this ministry. And I believe that it brings the gospel to people. So when I sit there and I, I hear the Holy Spirit tapping me on the shoulder, feel his, feel him tapping me on the shoulder, I believe that he has a message for me and he wants me to share it with the world. And I can support those who do that. So we're asking, won't you support Heritage Singers? And we have a worldwide audience. Did you know that we have about 2,500 people watching online from Singapore to Peru to Michigan, the Philippines, everywhere. Friends, we have an opportunity to continue this ministry and to support those who share the gospel. Amen. I'm asking after two years of hiatus and on the 50th year of Heritage Singers, 
won't you support this ministry? And those of you at home, you just point your phone to the QR code and the Hair to Singer website will come up and you can give right there. And I'm asking point blank, support this ministry. Won't you share? There's a lot to be excited about and we want to invite the, the deacons to come forward just now as we talk about what's happening in the Gospel Heritage Foundation. 50 years is a long time, Val. Wow. And um, there have been a lot of questions about uh, are we going to move forward? Are we going to, uh, are we going to slow down or stop the ministry? Well, there's a video here of people who are celebrating heritage moving forward. There's a video here that's absolutely wonderful. Uh, should we, let's have a word of prayer. Someone suggested maybe we should pray for the offering, and let's do that just now. Father in heaven, thank you for loving us, and thank you for this music. I ask that you will bless this offering, and Lord, may it increase to support those who would share the gospel, and the heritage singers in Jesus' name. So there are some people here who are very excited about your 50 years. There's a little video here that has been made to share um, the news, the good news. And let's watch it here. I think you'll recognize some of these, these fun people. Hi, Mark Lowry here, and I just want to congratulate Lucy and the Heritage Singers, and I would hug Mac's neck if he was here. Thank y'all. Congratulations for 50 years. That's a long time to be doing anything, <laughs> but 50 years you've carried the gospel and sung it, sung it well. I hope you have another 50. I won't be around the next time for that congratulatory celebration, unless it's in heaven. But nevertheless, God bless you, 50 years, yay! Hi, we're Hi. the Isaacs, and we're backstage at the Grand Ole Opry, getting ready to perform, but we just wanted to take a moment and say congratulations to the Heritage Singers on 50, 50 years. years. Wow. An amazing accomplishment, and uh, thank you for devotion to music and to uh, what you've done to inspire so many people down through the years and we pray for you Miss Lucy yeah. that God will continue to bless you as you continue on and uh, so from all the Isaacs here at the Opry congratulations. congratulations we love you and God bless you hey everybody Phil and Kim Collinsworth here from the Collinsworth family and I just wanted to take a minute Kim wanted to take a minute to give a huge congratulations to 50 years of ministry for the Heritage Singers met Max and Lucy many years ago now on a ship going to Alaska and it was an instant friendship. Max and I used to talk on the phone and then he's just gone off and went to heaven without us and so Lucy congratulations to you a lifetime of uh, influence. They've had an influence on us. Yes, and, and the beautiful harmony. I'm a harmony girl, and I'm telling you, that's what y'all pulled me in with those harmonies. Oh, yeah. And uh, I we had to sing with y'all in Dayton, Ohio, a few years ago, and that was really my first live introduction to Harry Singers, and I was just sitting back there with my mouth kind of hanging up and saying, this is so good. <laughs> so, uh, if I could say anything to y'all, at 50 years, and I know Max is real said, went to heaven, but listen, y'all have some work to do still, yeah. and going. I want y'all to keep Keep going because we need this kind of music in this world today. We need what you have to offer. We need your message and that beautiful, beautiful harmony. Listen, we need it. So all of y'all, all of you people that are in Harry Sanders, keep going. Yeah. And uh, you know what? There's coming a day that we're all going to reunite in heaven, and it's going to be an amazing time. And then we can have a 100-year celebration. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so y'all, happy 50th anniversary. Bless you. Hey, I'm Sean Craig. I'm Dan Dean. I'm Randy Phillips. We're Phillips, Craig, and Dean. Man, we just wanted to give you our big shout out here to say congratulations on 50 years of ministry, 50 years of singing, 50 years of blessing people all over this country and sent out so many people into this uh, world, the four corners of the earth, to bless people with your gifts. We're just so thankful. Yes, we are five decades of dedication and only eternity 
will reveal the impact that so many of you have had on so many lives. Yeah. And this is, uh, so much of this goes back to credit uh, that great man, Max Mace. What a legacy that he has is living on through all of you. So we, we send our congratulations to you, Heritage Singers. May you have many, many more uh, as you bless others with your ministry. Congratulations. Harmony, 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 harmony. And nobody does harmony any better than the heritage singers have done for 50 years. Absolutely. Yeah. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations from the Gaither Vocal Band. We love you. Love Keep you. going on. Good luck. Isn't that great? I just love seeing all those folks supporting the heritage singers. 50 years. Uh, I actually remember in 1972, somewhere in there, that Greg and Val were no longer going to be home where I could go over and play at their house. They were going to be on the road. For 50 years, my cousins Greg and my cousins Val have poured themselves into this ministry, and no one has been there longer. You've been there from the start. And so I just honor you both, and thank you so much. Friends, it's, it's, uh, we, we want to, you bet. We want to honor you both. If I hear any question asked more often, it wouldn't be the, it would be this one: um, Are the Heritage Singers going to continue on? Are they going to continue on? Two years ago, we uh, we thought so. We weren't sure. There was a lot of unknowns, but friends, tonight I have been given the permission to declare that with the uh, with the invitation from its founders, Max and Lucy Mace. Lucy's watching. Hi, Lucy. And at the invitation of the Gospel Heritage Foundation Board, Val Mace is the new director of Heritage Singers. Now, to be honest, to be honest, she has been right at Max's side the whole time. And in the last, uh, I would say, three to five, maybe even longer than that, Val has co-directed this group, makes all the arrangements, does a lot of the PR and does all of the, uh, the promotion, but also the connection. Val Mace is relational, and she connects with the pastors and those folks who, who are inviting you in. So I love that. So I'm very excited about this, and we are looking forward to the next 50. Now, friends, I, I want you to know that you, you not only can take them home with their products, but friends, we want, we want you to take them home in your hearts. Lift up this ministry. Find a way to support them. Those of you at home, watching all over, find a way to support a ministry that speaks gospel to those who don't know Jesus and supports and encourages those of us who do. I just love this ministry and I thank you so much, Val, our new director. <laughs> I have a couple things I want to tell you about. Um, where's McGill? Come on out. Um, so I have to tell you a little story behind this. Um, every year of since the group's begun, my dad would, um, when we'd be on a day off at a shopping mall, my dad would go and have a hat made for whatever year that was. And he was so looking forward to the 50th. For some reason, the 50th is the one he talked about the most, and he just missed it by a few months. But because of my dad, I did this. 50 years, heritage, backwards, there you go. Anyway, so if you want to take a little um, memory of him home tonight, we have these back at the uh, CD table in the fellowship hall. And your dad was extremely proud of this guy right here, wasn't he? Yeah, he worked 15 years to make this bear happen. Fif 15 years to make this bear happen. And let me tell you what, my daughter, who's four years old, yeah 
there's a, there's a thing called quiet time. For those of you who are parents, you know exactly what that is. Um, where you just given that quiet time, it's the best time for us um, parents. Um, but guess who babysits during quiet time? The bear. And uh, so she plays this thing over and over, and don't ever let the batteries run out at home because we will have a disaster on our hands. So we want to encourage you to take Max the singing bear with you tonight. Please, please, please take him with you. And if you already have one, it's okay. Get another one and give it away. Yes, and, and thank you for reminding me. There isn't going to be a new order of bears, a shipment of bears. When they are gone, they're forever gone. And um, so want I encourage you to get one. It is Christmas coming up, believe it or not. So take more than 20 songs, children's songs, by the way. And uh, they sing. Let's, 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 let's listen a little bit here. Greg, can we listen? And I know that my daughter is right now singing along with the bear because she knows every single song. Yes, this is Max the Singing Bear. So take him home with you. You can um, give it away to one of the kids. And I can, trust me, they will love, love, love him. What else do we have, Valerie? Uh, when COVID started, the very beginning, um, Tim and Mel came and said, well, let's hunker down together. So let's see what happens. So while we were there, Tim said, Let's make a Christmas CD. And so God has amazing timing because my dad did not even know he was sick at this point. And we made this Christmas album and he did the absolute best solo he's ever done. I'll be home for Christmas. We had no idea he was talking about his real home in heaven. So we're, we're excited about this album. It's really easy listening and peaceful, and it's the first time we've actually had it anywhere. So please come and take that home with you tonight. P please take the album with you. You got songs like Mary Did You Know and Who Would Imagine a King and Silent Night and Oh Holy Night. Um, take the album with you. It's great, great music for the holiday season. You want to take this with you. And of course, our, new, our newest album called Faithful, we, um, we have only sold this once, uh, actually twice in Andrews this year, but twice. And so if you haven't gotten it, please get it. These are great gifts for, there it is right there, for you to give to your family members. Um, for those who are watching online, you can also get this um, on television. You can order this off the website um, and uh, heritagesingers.com. You can order that CD and have it for you and your family, or you can send a gift this holiday season. I do want to mention one extra, um, since we're celebrating 50 years, now this is a special bonus. Um, for your hot drinks, we have this wonderful mug, but get a listen up for this one. This one is not available here. You have to pre-order this mug. You have to order it. Let us know if you want one, and it will be mailed to you. And it has the logo there, 50 Heritage Years. You want to make sure you get one of these so you can have your hot drinks it's a great, 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 um, great mug, and it'll remind you of the ministry of the Heritage Singers and uh, the legacy of Max Mays. Yes, group, let's do this. Let's sing Hosanna. Come on now. Won't you all stand up right now? You've been singing for a little while, put your hands together, and let's just praise right now.
Hosanna, Hosanna, amen? We praise you, Hosanna, Lord Jesus. What a wonderful night. You may be seated tonight, this evening. I am so glad to be here worshiping the Lord with you all. My name is Miguel Verazas. I grew up not too far away from here, down in Palm Springs, down the road in the desert, and then I moved to Northern California and um, enjoy the Northern California weather. Um, I have a beautiful wife that I actually met down the street in high school. We were high school sweethearts at Mesa Grande Academy, and I married her. We have a four-year-old daughter, um, Annalise, four years, and she, they, those two girls are the love of my life. They're watching right now. I want to just say hello at home. I love you girls. Thank you for letting me come out. And you know, it's very special time for our family because today my wife um, is 39 weeks pregnant. And you're probably wondering, what are you doing here? Well, you know what? Noah is being very good and he's staying put and um, wanted to be here for the celebration. But trust me, I'm, I'm taking off short after to be there with my family. We are so excited to welcome Noah Michael in a couple of days or any time, actually. But baby, stay in that, stay in that stomach uh, for a little longer there, a little more. Um, so I am so, so glad to be here with you all and praising the Lord. Um, this group is not a, just a singing group for me. This group has become family. And it's, it's a bond, it's a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a beautiful bond, and I'm so grateful to be part of that. And I'm so grateful to be, have known Max and to have sung with him and to have heard his words of wisdom and his mentoring. That's something that I'll never forget for the rest of my life. Thank you so much, Max, and Val, thank you so much for having me around. Good evening, everyone. My name is Cindy Hafner. I'm originally from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, but I've had the privilege and the honor to be a part of this group. I came to the States back in 1979, 78. My husband's correcting me. Um, I made my home <clears throat> in Sacramento, in Elk Grove area, with my wonderful husband, Eddie, who's been a very uh, large part of my life. Um, so as Val said earlier, Max was not only who he was on stage that you saw. Max was always kind. He was always giving. He was always blessing people. And I am so honored and grateful to be a part of this family, and we are family. We laugh together. We cry together. Um, so it's been a wonderful blessing. So thank you for being here tonight. Hope you have a great rest of your evening. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dave Bell, and I was actually born um, in the old hospital right here in Loma Linda. And, uh, but I make my home now uh, at Pacific Union College, where I teach. Uh, during the week, but um, on the weekends and you know, wherever, whenever we go, I, I just love being out here with the Heritage Singers. I, I think back to when, when I got that call from Max, I was a 19-year-old little scrawny, scrawny kid, and I thought I'd do this for, for one year, and you now it's been 39 years, and just, <laughs> this is, blessing for us in our lives everyone on stage will say the same you know like like cindy said this is this is family uh, my wife susan of uh, 31 years she's uh, watching at home she couldn't be here tonight but uh, just thank you so much for coming it's us. thank you <laughs> hello everyone my name is tim davis um, you know, I was thinking 39 years for Dave. I started in this group 32 years ago. So isn't that crazy? Thank you. I'll wait. Um, 
It just tells you, it just shows you that if people stay around that long in a ministry like this, it's because of the money. <laughs> the, that was a joke. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, truly, people don't stay around in, in many places very long, but it's a tribute to Max and Lucy. Hi, Lucy. We miss you. And um, I would not be where I am in my life and in my career without Max, without the Heritage Singers. So they're always family to me. I'm grateful to be a part of this 50th year anniversary concert. I just want to say um, I'm pretty blown away by the guys that have taken the torch with Miguel and Tim. I mean... I'm like this most of the time. When we first started, the, when I first started singing in the group, Art told me, you got to close your mouth. Uh, and I was like, what do you mean? Well, when someone else is singing a solo, you're just like this. <laughs> and I find myself doing that with these guys. Anyway, I'm done. And uh, this is my lovely wife. Well, we only had 90 seconds, so. <laughs> oh, I didn't, I didn't get that memo. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Melody Davis, and I'm married to this clown. <laughs> um, I'm not really good with math. In fact, I'm really bad at math. But I figured out on my own, I've been singing for more than half my life with this group. More than half of my life. I'm not the only one, but it, it, it's really something. I started back in the mid-'90s. Um, and we got married and we had children. They're here tonight. We have our son, Christian, who is 24, and our daughter, Summer Joy, who's 17. Um, and uh, they weren't even around when we started singing. But God's been so good, so good to each one of us, and so good to us collectively as a group. And while, and while we may feel... Um, like there's a really big void now, and there is. There's something about what Max has left behind that um, propels us forward. And so, to add to everyone else's sentiments, um, Max and Lucy are beyond, beyond. And they are like parents to all of us, even though we all have our own amazing parents. We were blessed and fortunate enough to acquire a second set of parents. And so we are grateful for them. We're grateful for this ministry. We're grateful for each other. And we're grateful for you all over the world, all of you who help support this ministry, who help keep us going, um, who send you know love and support. And we're just grateful for all of you. So thank you. Thank you to every single person across the globe who has, in one way or another, contributed to this ministry. Um, you're a part of it with us. You're a part of it with us. So anyway, God bless you. Thank you for that being here That was quite a tonight. bit longer than 90 I seconds know. as well. So <laughs> to point that out. Good evening, everyone. My name is Shani Jadil. Born and raised in Sydney, Australia, but home to me is just down the road in Redlands. And so I did not have to travel too far to be here tonight. Uh, when I heard about where some of you came from, you guys, man, you must be tired. <laughs> Especially if you flew, your arms must be, no, sorry, that was really dumb. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I, I was just thinking back as Melody was talking, I've also sung over half my life with this group. I got the call when I was 22, and I'm 48 now, so that's like well over half my life. And I grew up listening to this group for as long as I can remember. And what an incredible honor to now be a part of it, a part of a ministry that is that I just absolutely, with every bit of me, believe in. And I'm so thankful to God that he's not done with it yet. 
and that uh, he's okay with having me be a part of it. I love that. I love that. Max has been a father to so many of us in the group. There are quite a number of us here who have lost our dads over the past years, and Max has been like a father to us. So we feel, we certainly felt hit pretty hard when he was, uh, when he was gone. But we're so thankful that we get to see him in heaven one day. His fate is for sure. He is assured he will be in heaven. And I want to be there, and I want you to be there too. Good evening, everyone. My name is Tim Calhoun, and now I make my home in Loma Linda, California, actually. So, so it's good to be living down here. My wife and I, we moved down last May, and so we live just about two miles away from here. So this is home for us. My lovely wife, Diana, and my three sons, Aiden Maxwell and Langston. Are they here? Stand up, stand up. I, I, my family's beautiful. They're not? Please, please stand up. Thank you. That's my lovely wife. I've been singing since 1998. No, 99, excuse me, sorry. I've been singing over half my life as well. Goodness gracious, wow. Wow. I'm not going to say too much because I, I'm, I'm the crying baby of the group. And um, <laughs> all I'm going to say is Max was my greatest mentor. Yeah. And he loved Tim Calhoun. Max loved you. Well, my name is Scott Reed. I am originally from Ventura County, California, not too far from here. But now I live with my family uh, in Chicago. They're all here as well. You got to meet my beautiful wife. And I have two strapping, handsome young men. Uh, a 19-year-old who's at Biola University, not too far from here. Uh, so we, we are missing him being in Chicago, and he's in L.A., uh, and then I have a freshman in high school as well, Brandon and Tommy. So honored to, uh, to just be here with them. And boys, don't worry. They don't, get, they don't go to many heritage concerts because of me. Uh, there's only a couple hours left, so we're going to be out of here in, in no time. That's how it goes. But Hey, do you mind if we do something real quick? Hang on. Can you turn the house lights on? Uh, Shaney and I were talking about this. We are like, we want to get a group shot. We got to get a group shot. House hey, we lights. Want a picture and with we, you guys. Is that okay? And we want everybody waving. Group, get in we here. Want wave to the Look camera. at that. Look at that beautiful group of folks. Band, are you in there too? Okay, try now. Hey, one, two, three. We're waving. We're waving. We're waving. Oh, you That's guys good. Are Thank you. Beautiful. I love that. Well, I've been singing in the group for 27 uh, years. Amazing. And I cannot echo uh, anything that hasn't already been said about what Max means. Uh, to me, but I did want to just take a second because I feel like there's some honor due in this in this room, in this group, and you're about to hear from this uh, beautiful young lady here in a second. But as a dad, thinking about my boys, and I I cannot imagine anything sweeter than, than having my children that that Max poured so much into decide that this is the thing they want to continue to move forward and press forward and trust the Lord for, just like Dad modeled for them and Mom, Lucy, modeled for them. And I'm so honored and so proud of you, Val. <laughs> and I know how proud your dad was of you and Greg, for Greg to continue on and uh, stick this out for as long as he has such a support, such a rock to this group as well. Greg, I'm so proud of you. And I'm so thankful for you. Thank you, Greg. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> My name is Val Mace Mappa, and I have had the privilege of being a part of this ministry for the past 50 years. Yeah. <laughs> My brother and I started out on the bus when we were just little kids. Now we're old kids, <laughs> but we're a team, and I couldn't do it without Greg. 
His family is home tonight, his uh, wife Adriani and his two beautiful daughters, Amber and Isabella. They are watching tonight with my mom and she sends her love to all of you. She really wanted to be here, but it just wasn't possible. So please know that she's sending her love your direction. Okay. Mama, we miss ya. Okay. This handsome guy over there with the guitar, I've been married to him for 30 years. His name is Art Mappa. Art works full time with our ministry at home. And I have someone else here, has my DNA. <laughs> my son Austin is playing the drums. Austin Mappa. Austin is the bookkeeper for our ministry, so that's been really a blessing this year. And he has a really adorable wife, Chloe Nicole. Oh, stand up, Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Chloe is a kindergarten teacher in Orangeville, California, so we love our Chloe. Okay, Joel Umali is no stranger from around here. He is a dentist. He's got a precious little family. Um, Wendy, Abby, are you guys here? Yes, yes. This is why. And he's from Loma Linda area, right? And we love Joel. You go way back to what year? Half your life. <laughs> what? Oh, 86 is when Joel first. Yeah, in fact, we sang at your wedding. Nice. And then Nino Acampo, a lot of you probably know him. He's a, I love, I love his tender heart. The other day he called me and I was walking around the dollar store for a good hour, just talking to Nino about this and that and the other. Anyway, you work at which hospital? The children's or the, yeah, he works at the children's hospital right here. And he has a beautiful family as well. Are they here tonight? Are you, is Nino's family here? Oh, thanks for coming out. We also have Marcelo that sang with us for years and he's in this area too. Are you here, Marcelo? Stand up, Marcelo. One precious, precious man right there. We love the Constanzos. Uh, Thank you so much for being um, such a beautiful support over the years um, for our ministry. We're self-supporting, if you didn't know, and um, not supported by any church, any, it's just you. And your prayers over the years have meant so much to us, uh, keeping us going, and uh, we're looking forward to another 50. So keep us in your prayers. Thanks. <laughs>
tell you my whole story but I'll tell you this Jesus has set me free he has broken some chains in my life I am forgiven and free because of his grace how many of you can testify to that come on oh I'm forgiven Never cry again and prove to the great I am. We will live in the light of the risen day.
never crying again and praise that song for you guys. garner when I happened by. He waved me over with a look in his eye and started breaking all some ears of corn. Here for answer pay this corn is just right. So boil it up for your supper tonight. I've learned it's true what my daddy used to say. Until you give it away If you want more happy Then your heart will hold If you want to stand taller If the truth were told Take whatever you have And give it away If you want less lonely And a lot more fun And deep satisfaction When the day that dam since that day in the garden with my uncle Sam so I hope you hear these words I have to say there are two kind of folks takers and givers grabbers complainers big hearted livers depends on how we choose to spend our day we can hold just give it all away. If you want more happy than your heart will hold, if you want to stand taller, if the truth were told, take whatever you have and give it away. If you want this lonely and a lot more fun and deep satisfaction when the day is done, 
You know, Max would say that there's a hook in a song, and that's it right there, the question, do you know him today? Because without him, we would be nothing. We need Jesus. And you know, in light of the holiday season, as Christmas is approaching, you can think of all the songs in your mind that you like playing during this time. Silent Night, Joy to the World, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. As you listen to those words, to that music, announcing the newborn king. Hallelujah. I remember Max uh, doing this song with you guys, and in light of the spirit, can the choir sing again? Would you sing with me? Oh, oh come let us adore him. Oh, come let us Sing that one more time. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come. favorite, one of my favorite Christmas songs is O Holy Night. And as I started thinking about the words, did you know that every phrase in that song has scripture written all over it? And I realized, man, that's why I love it so much. Because from Matthew to Luke to Paul, we see scripture embedded in that song. And as I think about the children that God is blessing me with, I can't imagine how Mary must have felt, and how Joseph must have felt, or how the shepherds felt out in the field when those angels came and they announced his birth. It was a divine night. It was such a holy night because the king of kings would come to this earth for you and for me. Oh, that holy night, that star that told of his coming. Thank you, Jesus. The stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul fell its word, a thrill of hope, a weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn, fall on your knees, oh he Angel voices, oh night divine, oh night, 
When Christ was born, oh, night divine, oh, night, oh, night divine, true. And His gospel is peace. Chains shall He break, for the slave is our brother. And in His name all oppression shall cease. A thrill of hope. A weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Christ is the Lord. Oh, praise His name for.
We sure miss you, Max. Isn't it good to see that face? I want to see that face. Do you know what home is like? We talked about it a little bit earlier. But all throughout Scripture, Isaiah 6, Revelation 4 and 5, the, the, the language of heaven is holy, 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 worthy is the Lamb. It's praise, and it's unending. There's a great John Tyson quote. John Tyson says, the angels have been locked up in a room with Jesus for thousands of years, and they can't get past the word holy yet. Holy, holy, holy. You know what that word means, holy? It means set apart. It means otherly. It means he's not like you and me. Although he was, he was truly man, and he walked, he knew what it was like to be flesh, and he dwelt among us. And he was a perfect, spotless lamb of God who took on our sin for us. But he's not like you and me. He's worthy of our worship, not because he's insecure, but because he created us for it. He doesn't need it like you and me would need it, right? He knows he's God. He knows there's no one like him, no one beside him, no one above him, no one in his league, right? He is holy. He is holy. He is holy. And I feel like tonight we're about to, to, to bring this to a close, but this next song we talk about what it might be like in that environment where maybe you or I won't ever get past that word, holy, 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 where we're going to see Max's face and we're going to see Jesus' face. And do you know what I think Jesus is going to be most interested in? He's not going to necessarily be interested if, if you've just tried to hang on for your dear life until heaven came, right? 
I think he's going to want to know how you lived your life every single day that you had a chance to let heaven come on earth, his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. And I think Max would want to ask you, I think we want to ask you tonight, what are you doing to live your life in service and in adoration and affection to a God who is not like anything else that you and I can find on this earth? There's nothing that will satisfy us but him. There's some of you here tonight that need to lay some things down so that you can pick some things up and start carrying the goodness and the mercy and the blessing and the praise of God tonight. Your lives need to look like it. And it's simpler than you think. It's just laying down your the pride, the things that hold you up, the things that you try to self-care and self-soothe. And it's laying those at the feet of a God who is a healer, who's a miracle worker, who's mighty to save and deliver. Tonight, he wants to deliver you. Max loved this song. And we're going to close tonight with with this, and I want you to be challenged in this moment, just as I asked you early on tonight, how are you going to respond here at the close? How has God changed you a little bit? How has he stirred you? How has he drawn you in? Are there things you know you need to lay down in response to him in worship? That's our sacrifice of praise, right? Lord, I'm going to lay this down. Are there things you need to lay down And do you need to declare that word that for thousands of years has been the song of heaven? Holy and worthy is the lamb who was slain to take on my sin and my shame. I want to see Jesus. I want to see Jesus. Because he's the one who died for you and for me. Then they carried me from mansion to mansion, oh, in all the sights, all the sights that I saw. But then, then I said that I want to. my Jesus, because he's the one who died for all. Then I bowed on my knees and cried, holy, holy, holy are you God on my holy, you are holy. Oh 
remains of that city. Down the streets of heaven and all the seas. Well, oh, there were too many to tell, and I saw Abraham. I saw Talked with Mark and sat down with Timothy. But I said, Timothy. special place in our heart for Loma Linda. My dad always has had it and we will continue it. We thank you Pastor Randy and all the staff for helping us today. We love Pastor Randy. And my cousin Doug of course and the rest of his family are precious to us. Uh, the last song we'd like to do tonight is called It Is Finished. And very soon, very soon, we're going to be with Jesus. Hold on. drawn through 
an old rugged cross On that cross a battle is raging To gain a man's soul or its love On the one side march the forces of evil, all the demons and all the devils of hell. On the other, the angels of glory, and they meet on God. The earth shakes with the force of the conflict and the sun refuses to shine and there hangs God's sun in the bats and then through the darkness
Thank you everyone for coming out. We want to say hello to you. Come see us in the auditorium next door, the Fellowship Hall. For all, we're gonna have our sales there. We would love to say hello to you. Good night. We'll see you later.